This video will cover one possible method to gain torso height. It's not game breaking, but it is a relatively easy method. And there in currently exists no cosmetic surgical method for increasing height of the torso. So any method should be looked into. We know that articular cartilage endochondral ossification is possible from studies on the jaw. I, I might do another video on this and uh, there's stuff on the Height Quest Instagram page. The jaw usually increases in size with age, and it usually occurs more quickly in people who have elevated HCH via acromegaly. And it also seems to occur more quickly in people with osteoarthritis. Um, also, it, it seems to increase in size more in bodybuilders. And the reason for this is, is due to the lateral pterygoid muscle. The lateral pter pterygoid muscle is pretty much directly attached to the articular cartilage of the jaw. So when it is activated via bodybuilders doing heavy weightlifting, it can induce endochondral ossification of the articular cartilage of the jaw, resulting in the jaw growing bigger over time. Um, it seems that uh, the lateral pterygoid muscle is pretty much the only muscle that has that sort of direct cartilage attachment. So it's really something to be studied. The question is, okay, how do we apply this to the torso? Well, if you look at the muscles of the torso, you notice that the majority of the spinal muscles slope upward. So if we achieve activation of the spinal muscles, regardless of whether they're stretched or not, if they're activated, they are all pulling upwards. They should indir indirectly induce a pulling force on the articular cartilage. Um, we need to do some studies to make sure this actually happened. You may be saying, well, what about stretching? Well, the problem with stretching is that it may not induce a pulling force in the spine in the proper alignment in the same way that the muscles will. Um, because you know, the muscles are have the proper alignment. It might may cause a spinal imbalance, i.e. scoliosis. Something like doing dead hangs on a pull-up bar may result in tensile force on one part of the spine, but compression on, an, on, on the other. On the other hand, there may be ways to counteract these different, different forces via multiple exercises. One exercise may compress part of the spine and then another exercise can access that via a tensile force. And if that intensive force results in articular cartilage hypertrophy, it may result in net height gain. So yes, stretching to increase height in the spine may be possible, but it needs to be studied more. And right now I'm, I'm talking about this, this easy quick win, quick win method. So the question is, how do we put the theory into practice? One, strengthen the back muscles, and two, proper posture. Do very high rep, moderate weight exercises. You know, the typical deadlifts, pull-ups, rows, that, that sort of thing. Um, the problem with doing very heavy weights is that tight muscles will lead to improper alignment, and we want those spinal muscles to be pulling in the right way. And also, doing high reps will also build muscular endurance, which will enable you to more easily maintain proper posture throughout the day. Um, if there's interest in a routine, uh, maybe I can post some exercises in Impossible Routine. Um, I'm currently testing some stuff and, it, you know, it's it's, it's kind of hard to do very high reps, more harder than I expected, but I can post a routine if you want. Po po Posture-wise, you want to achieve muscle activation in the back because when you have that back muscle activation, your muscles will be indirectly in providing a tensile force on the sp spinal column and the discs of the spinal column throughout the day. Um, you know, we need to do um, a stress strain analysis to see that if this is happening, but theoretically, yes, it, it should be happening. To achieve the, the back muscle activation, you want chin tucked, um, chest up, and shoulders back. Um, and that's not quite what's happening in this um, this photo, but you know, you know, you just want to do the posture that gets those back muscles activated. Because because we saw that in the previous image, we, those muscles are all sloping upward, mostly. So if the, those muscles are sloping upward and they're activated, they are pulling on the spine in an upward force. Um, the larger your muscles are, the more pulling force you will have on the spinal column. So you want to get those muscles bigger. So that would be the goal for the exercises. This won't result in a large amount of height, but it is an easy, low effort way to gain a small amount of height. And it is consistent with regular weightlifting routine. It's just slightly different. You don't do, you don't one rep max. You just do a lot of m moderate weight, high rep exercises that strengthen the spine. 